Meet Peggy. She loves skateboarding. Pizza. Most importantly, unicorns. It could be any type of unicorn. She always felt she had a magic cannon inside of her. Whenever she read or learned about her favorite gods, Nike and Persephone, she felt like she had a special re relationship with them. She prayed to them every morning and evening. She may sound like a total creepo, but she was like every other 17-year-old, other than her totally weird obsessions. When Peggy was little, she was given away and adopted. She was always wondered about her past. Parents refused to tell her about it. She would plead and plead, but they wouldn't give in. At some point, she just gave up. It was too much. Till one day, she had the courage to ask again. We can't tell you, so stop asking and just accept the fact we can't tell you! Her father yelled. Peggy sat there, jaw dropped. Tears started streaming down her face. She ran as fast as she could to her bedroom. Bill, you just broke out little girl's heart. Peggy slammed her door and cried for what seemed like hours. Peggy never really felt what others felt. She was never invited to sit with anyone or given the chance to be friends with anyone, except for one boy. His name was Hermes. Peggy's mom knocked on the door. Peggy, sweetheart, are you up? Yes. But how long? I never went to sleep. What time is it? You need to get ready. Where are you? Oh my goddess, what happened? No school today for you! Worst birthday ever. Peggy spent the day eating pizza and ice cream all by herself. She heard the doorbell ring, and she wondered who might be there. Hello. Happy birthday! You remembered? Of course. Peggy's vision went black, and then she woke up with a very, very bad headache. She looked around, and she was on a cloud? Peggy looked around in confusion, and saw Zeus, the god of gods. She asked him what was going on. He explained. We were born with Apollo and Artemis, triplets. When Apollo and Artemis were obviously gods, you, however, had no special abilities. The law is, if you do not manifest any special abilities, you need to be fostered to another family. That's what we had to do with you. Now you are 18. I think you've proven your decision wrong. You can shapeshift into a unicorn, of course. You now get to live with us! Would you like to? I will. She became very, very close with Nike and Persephone. She got married to Hermes and finished her life happy as a clam. When she died, everyone mourned and sent her soul to the sky to have a happy afterlife.